Hi, I'm Tree and this is Stitches TV. Today we're going to make the wrap trousers from the Jennifer Taylor Girl with the Sewing Machine <coughs> sewing book. So Jenny, the author of the book, suggested that the first thing that you need to do is to put your hands between your two slips. So Jenny says the first thing that you have to do is measure your crotch. That's a good idea. Right, but your crotch doesn't go up to here. Right. The measurement, the total measurement of her crotch, although we want it a I bit want loose. I want a bit high. You want them high, yeah? But they're yeah. going to have a waistband on them. I know, but I thought they should be high. Yeah, but you want it dropped a bit it's too? Not that high. So, her measurement. Do I do it in centimetres? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do it in centimetres. I think that's too much. Mm. 66, but can you hold that there? Did 66. I can't see that. But her front measurement will be 31. So this is what we do. So the measurement of her crotch was 66 centimetres, which seems to be 26 inches. Now Jenny says that you have to work out where the front of the crotch, the centre front of the crotch is. So for us that was something like 31 or 32. So I've got that in line with the centre of our fabric. And then the back sort of comes out wider to allow for our big bottom. So we've done like a dotted line there that will show where we're gonna cut it out. So if I give you a pair of scissors, can you cut Sorry. that out? Right, so you're gonna cut out the crotch now. So you're cutting the front bit first, yeah? Curve around the bend. Now when you get to that fold bit, you know where we folded the fabric all the way? Go past it and then just pop a little notch in there. Now begin on the other side, which is the back, and go and meet where you've just finished, yeah? Mm -hmm. I want you to put halfway up the back side two little tiny notches that denote the back. Yes, tiny, one. Okay, so that's going to signify the back. Point with the scissors where our fold is that goes through the fabric. Going all the way down, show us. Right, now, because on the left, that's the fold of our folded fabric, you need to cut down there. So start cutting down that fold now. And I'll tell you when to stop. You're going to keep cutting down that fold to separate the fabrics, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now we're only working with two metres of fabric, which is why we're, we're doing it across the fabric as our length, yeah? Because <laughs> we don't have that much fabric and we need to leave enough for the waistband. Right, so daughter is cutting out two long strips. She's first of all, cutting out one big strip and she's going to halve it, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah? And they are going to make up two waistbands with ties attached, hopefully. At least this is a rubbish. See where the fold is on your waistbands? Yeah. Right, I want a tiny little notch. What I want you to do is this, okay? Give me the scissors. Sorry <laughs> Like that, so it becomes like a little triangle notch. Okay. Can so can well? you do the other one as well? Mm, we'll see. So according to this book, where are you going to sew? Go, show us on there. Centimetre seam allowance. Here. Starting at the back around there. Right, let's and do that. all the way around. No, you're just doing no, that. not the whole way around. That's too fast, you're putting too much weight on the pedal. 
So with these old machines, they haven't got different speeds. So if you put too much weight on the pedal, it'll go too fast. So always know where you're going before you go there. Stop. Right, so you're going to go around the bend of the crotch, so you come around to the front, yeah? Go. Take breaks. So now you're coming up the front, yeah? So go backwards and forwards at the end. So look, just by sewing the, that crotch and keeping track of which one's the back, we've already kind of got a kind of wrap trouser thing going on. So what we need to do now is we need to hem this edge, that edge, and then the same at the back as well. And then we're going to attach We need to attach them onto the ties. Oh my goodness. That is so stressful. Our 1950s Benina sewing machine, the motor has just exploded. <laughs> so this is as far as we can go for now. We might try and find or borrow another sewing machine. Um, otherwise we'll have to finish it off at home. But look, they look really good, and all we've done is sew up the crotch. Right, well we're back. <laughs> I quickly drove home and went and got my Janome, one of my many Janome machines, and we're off again. So, we've got this far. We've stitched up the crotch, which was really easy. I want to show you a couple of things. So, if you could turn around, please. So, I haven't put the waistband on yet, but I've just given it two little darts at the back. And could you turn around? And at the front as well. Now, I've already added the waistband onto to the back. front and. Right I've already added the waistband onto the front. And can you hold that up? And the other thing that I did, I just curved to the front just a little bit. It was about half an inch down going off into nothing. Now what we're gonna do now is we are going to finish off the hems and so we're gonna finish off the hems on all of our raw seams at the front and at the back and finish off the hems of the bottom of the wrap trousers. So you're going to do it on all of these seams. You're going to press once, press it again, so you get a neat edge, and then sew it on the front seams and then the same ones at the back. Now, it is a good idea to do the hem first, I would say, because I think it looks neater this bit here if it overlaps so this is where the wrap hem is so the actual hem of the trousers can you do it so you do a little one but yes. then do like a bigger one as well like that I'm making it the same size of as our waist band so can you press that I'll hold that there you get the eye then don't burn your mum's hands so pressing is pressing lift and press okay mind your fingers We, we're going to do the hem first of the trousers and we've pre-pressed it, which is really great. And we just opened out this bit here. But you might find this a bit scary, but if you're going to sew without pins, this works really well. Now, if I get you to sew the hem rather than this way round, this way round. What? <laughs> can you trust me? I can't do that. You can, because when you do it, you're going to feel, feel where that hem is. Can you feel that? Yeah. Right. So I want you to be just a little bit on this side of it. And feel, look, you can almost see it. Okay, so do that for me. It's 
So stop and check. <laughs> Go on, stop and check. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So do you think you'd be capable of doing it? Right, stop for a minute. What's Stop. When you sew, make sure everything is flat and good and nice before you go. And if it's bouncing, you're going too far. Stop. <laughs> so this is the right side and show us the wrong side. Oops. And that's the wrong side. Now the reason why we do that is because if you were to sew it from this side, Sometimes get this bunching up thing and the, and then the hem starts to twist. Right, so we did the hem. We've done the hem and now we're going to do this bit going down on all of them, okay? We've done the other hem as well, that is. So that's where we pressed it once and we pressed it again. Right, she was a bit nervous about doing it in the way where you have the hem underneath. So we're going to do it this way now. Now I want you to go forwards a little bit and then press down that and go mm -hmm. back and then go all the way down. Ready? Yeah. Does it work? Hold it down. Oh my god, it's wonky. <sighs> okay, that was quite a lot of forwards and back just so you Sorry. know. Sorry. <laughs> but that's fine. Now. Right, off you go. Slowly, slowly. Not so much pressure on the pedal and then it will go more slowly. Stop. Do it in stages. Adjust your fabric. Know where you're going before you go. So when you get to the end, will you go back some forwards, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then press it all afterwards. Go to the end. No, go to the end. Stop, don't go over. Back a couple of stitches. Stop. Yeah, good. Now do that to the rest of them. So we're going to do the waistband, which in Jenny's book is from number six, I'd say, to number 11. Is it number 11? Yeah, to number 11. So we're going to be doing this waistband. Now, when Jenny does the waistband for her back, she does a button and a buttonhole. But my daughter said that she thought that that was a bit ambitious for her. So we've done ties for the front and ties for the back. Now, they come to the front. oh, she liked it so it came around all the way long enough to come to the front. So the ones that we're doing now, we're applying them to the back, but this method you will use for your front and your back if you want ties on the front and the back. Otherwise, follow what Jenny does in the book, okay? Now, I haven't got any interfacing because I'm at my mum's. So, this is our back. Is it our back? Yeah, it is. Now, when we did our long uh, waistband with the ties long enough to have the ties. Our ties are about that long. You probably want to know measurement, don't you? I say that that's about 35 centimeters long, something like that. The tie bit, and then the rest of it is whatever fits the actual top of the trousers. Now, what's very important is you have a notch on your waistband where the center of the waistband is which matches up on the seam of your back or your front of your waistband and then what we have to do is this is all in the book as well what we do is can you grab the other end we're gonna put we're gonna put our fabric right sides together with our trousers now we haven't really got any pins so what we're gonna do is we're going to sew from the centre, right sides together. I've already pressed my seam allowance on the waistband, so I know what to do. So I'm going to sew from the centre going down there, then I'm going to flop it over, sew from the centre going down on the other side. The notch on the waistband is lined up with that seam, isn't it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. And <coughs> you don't need to go backs and forwards because we will over sew it when we sew in a minute. And I've already pressed back the seam allowance on the waistband. Mm -hmm so you can see the line that you have to stitch down. 
So can you show them how you got the fabric right sides together? Right sides together. Yeah, and you're going to push that dart going away towards the yeah. side seam or towards the back. And just stop wherever the trousers finish, yeah? When you get to the end, just go backwards and forwards a little bit. Right, so she's done that side, so now she's going to do the other side. If you can pick it up, daughter, turn it around, because we always have our fabric on the left. Make sure you're not trapping any fabric underneath. And you're going to over sew some of those stitches that you did before, yeah? Line it up. You're going to do the same seam allowance, yeah? And finish wherever the trousers finish, you know, attach to mm -hmm. the waistband. Now this bit's important. Daughter, can you t flop it over? Right, I want that seam allowance to be pushed away, yes. Now turn it back again with the seam allowance pushed away. Lay out your tie bit and fold it over your waistband so everything's nice and flat and the ties so when they are in a good flat position i want to know where that meets Ooh, that's, that's too big by the way <laughs> that's too big i want to know where that meets the uh, front of your trousers and then you need to do this Hold it all, you know, hold the trousers. Right, we've got to make this as small as possible. Right, like that. We can go again a bit smaller until we can see this underneath. Got it? Yeah. This is like a, it's called a burrito. Move this hand. Burrito waistband. And we know that that notch will line up with that bit there. And so we can start sewing in here. And so long as that notch lines up there, your waistband won't be twisted. Now you have to hold this in place. If we had a pin, we could put a pin there. Have we got a pin somewhere? Yes, Mummy, your stitch is too big, you don't use pins. I know, but sometimes we do use pins when we need to because we don't not use pins for the sake of it. Now, it would be easier to do it that way, actually. So can you take that pin out? And put it, so because then you can see the stitches. Now, can you put it in where the stitches are? That's all right, that's fine. Right, so you are gonna sew all the bulk of that waistband is inside here she's lined up the notch that shows us that the waistband isn't twisted and working in small amounts you're just going to sew straight down this stitch line here pause and then start sewing all the way down here but let's give you a couple of notches to line up on your ties so that you know if you line those up they won't be yeah are you able to do it so we can move your yeah okay. now are there any notches that you can line up there on the ties yeah. yeah yeah so if they line up you know it's not going to be twisted so that's why we did that so you're just going to make your way all the way down those ties with that seam allowance so stick to the same size seam allowance so as you get near the end, will you stop like about three centimetres from the end? Right there? Yeah, that kind of thing. Okay. Ooh. You know, ish. Yeah, put the needle in when you, well a bit more, yes. that's, go, no, so a bit more, oh. like a centimetre more. Stop, needle in, lift a foot. Pivot the needle, turn it. Now you're going to sew, put, drop the foot now. You're going to sew diagonally 
to about half a centimetre away from the end so that you end up with a kind of point. Right, so just trim away that excess there. Okay, and now what you're going to do is try and push in that point a bit. Be on the bed of the sewing machine so we can see you. Right, now get the scissors in there and gently, like really gently, start easing it down the scissors. Very gently, gently, gently. So when it starts to poke out of your waistband a little bit, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, take the scissors away and do not let go of what you've got and then gradually ease, no, from the bottom. Gently, gently ease, 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 ease. Now show us what the waistband is like. Push it in nicely. So what did we, see how we just did that bit on the waistband? Forget the ties, because we know about oh. that. Show us the, the waistband, flat. Right, do you see what we did there? So what we've done, we, I mean, on my, the one that I did before, I'm not showing off, but I managed to go to there. But what it does is it just gives this nice finish, look. So that's already stitched on and you can actually bag it out to there but my daughter's new to this so I didn't want to overdo it. If you haven't already attached, can you hold it? If you, if you haven't already attached your waistband onto your front then you need to do this for the front as well. So now start preparing, daughter, the other side. Right, she's going to try and do a stitch in the ditch. But we're not sure she's going to manage it. I sort of advise other people that are not experienced and don't have a stitch in the ditch foot to maybe just top stitch it for an easy life. Or hand sew, actually. You could just hand sew. So can you pause for a minute? Look at that. She did it. Brilliant. Right, we can try it on now. Oh, that was hard work. Not, not the trousers, just the filming. Anyway, right, so look at those. So show us how you tie them up. We've tied up the back. We've tied up these from the back. And now, daughter, don't tie them too tightly, is going to tie the front. And I'm just going to come in with the camera because I want to show you some details, but they're very nice. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. Look at these. I'm going to pan down. I'm just panning down your trousers, daughter. So look at that. They're pretty good. And can you just turn around so we can see the back? And move slightly nearer to the flowers. Stop. Right, let me show you. So what I wanted to show you so I've put these darts in because I felt they just gave it a bit more shape. I'm just going to get something. Now I actually think that they could be called zero waist trousers because it used up all of the two metres of fabric and if she let me put a pocket on there, which she won't let me do, and then maybe one on the front, then we will have used up all of the fabric. The right. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Okay, mother, daughter, daughter, mother. That was a bit loud. No. Right, so I just wanted to show mother, you. So, daughter has got my mum's clothes on because this is something I made for my mum. So, let's just get rid of her. Thank you very much. Look. So. A 14 year old? How old are you? 50? A 15 year old can wear these wrap trousers and how old are you? 81. And an 81 year old. So can you slowly turn around? I made her wrap over the top as well. Oh, the ice cream van's here. So look, can you come a bit more this way because they won't be able to see the full length. Near to the flowers. Right, so slowly turn, slowly turn. So they do look. Do they look quite good on her? So I'm going to do that thing where I say, can you comment below, please? And tell us if you prefer them on the 81? Yes. 81 year old, Nonna, my mum, um, or on the 15 year old. Oh. So, 
back on daughter again. Move your hands. Thank you. So, very good trousers, but something that I realised, they're actually zero waist trousers, particularly if you use the crotch to make a pocket at the back and then one at the front. Thank you so much for watching. See you again very soon. And if you want Jennifer Taylor's book, I think it's available on Amazon, but you know what? She's got a new one coming out soon. And congratulations, Jenny Bob Taylor, on the birth of your new child. Bye. Say goodbye. Bye.